so this is the question very important one the question is a 9.375 gigahertz uniform plane wave is propagating in a polyethanol uh, with the standard value of epsilon r is equal to 2.26 if the amplitude of the electric field they mentioned it as 500 volt per meter and the material is assumed to be lossless find we need to find these things that is phase constant wavelength velocity of propagation intrinsic impedance and magnetic field intensity okay so these are the five things which are going to find so in the derivations and all we have seen the relationship between these things right so the first thing is let's find the phase constant the formula for phase constant is omega uh, square root of omega mu not since this is in free space sigma by 2 okay so now in order to find this beta we uh, we don't have any values for omega and sigma the standard value of mu not we know that it is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 So we know that the value of omega is equal to 2 pi f. So omega is equal to 2 into 3.14 into f. The question, the frequency they mentioned it as 9.375 gigahertz. So 9.375 into 10 power 9 giga means 10 power 9. So if we solve this, the omega value we are getting it as 5.88 into 10 power 10 radian per second. It's unit, okay? It's mentioned it as referred as radian per second. So this is the value of omega. Similarly, sigma is equal to one by nita. Okay, since nita is the intrinsic impedance. Okay, in free space, the value of nita is equal to uh, we have seen it as it is three seventy six point seven, right? So that's why sigma is equal to one by three seventy six point seven point seven, and uh, approximately the answer, if we simplify, we are getting it as two point six five into ten to the power minus three mo per. meter okay so this is the unit for sigma conductivity so now these two things we are going to substitute in this equation back that is square root of so i have substituted the value of omega sigma and mu not okay and if we simplify this square root the answer for beta we are getting approximately as 9.892 okay so this is the value of our phase constant beta so similarly in the next case they have asked uh, second sub question they have asked to find us the value of wavelength lambda and lambda we know that we have formula that is uh, c by f since f is equal to sorry since uh, lambda at times f is equal to c so that's why lambda is equal to c by f so lambda is equal to c okay so in order to find the c that is velocity of propagation so first we need to be finding the velocity of propagation in order to find wavelength okay so that's why first we need to be solving the third sub question to find the value of c we know that velocity of propagation the formula is omega by beta so c is equal to omega just now we have calculated that is 5.88 into 10 power 10 divided by beta is equal to just now we have got 9.892 okay and if we simplify this we are going to get our answer as 5.94 into 10 power 9 meter per second okay so this is the value of velocity of propagation of light so this value we are going to substitute back here okay so the value of c is 5.94 into 10 power 9 divided by frequency in the question they have mentioned 9.375 gigahertz giga means 10 power 9 so we can cancel these two and when we divide this the answer we are getting it as 0.63 the unit of wavelength is meter okay so this is the answer for wavelength and velocity of propagation So in the next question, they have asked to find out the intrinsic impedance. So they found, told us to find the intrinsic impedance. That is, nita is equal to E y by h z. Okay. So for this E y by h z, from the derivations here, from the intrinsic impedance of uh, free space, so we have got one relation that is E y by h z is equal to C times mu naught. Right. We have derived this equation. So that's why E y by h z we need to be substituting the values of C here, which we have got that is 5.94 into 10 power 9 into the mu naught value standard value is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. So if we solve this, our value of uh, intrinsic impedance we are getting is approximately 7.46 kilo ohms. Okay, since impedance is represented as uh, the unit is ohms, so this is the value of a uh, intrinsic impedance. So similarly, uh, the next sub question they have mentioned it. Uh, to find the magnetic field intensity that is h okay so we have one uh, relation between uh, ey and hz that is ey by hz 
is equal to just now we have got is as 7.46 kilo ohms right but uh, in the question they have mentioned the amplitude of electric field as 500 volts per meter so that's why 500 by hz is equal to 7460 so therefore uh, what what we can write it hz is equal to 500 divided by 7460 10 get cancelled so 50 divided by 746 if you simplify approximately the answer we are getting it as 0 0.067 amperes per meter okay so this is the value of magnetic field intensity so like this we are going to solve this problem okay all the five sub questions we have solved so so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in this session we are going to discuss with the we are going to continue with module 5 only and we are going to discuss one more concept which is related to uniform plane wave okay that is the movement of electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity is uh, uniformly distributed along the surface okay what is the relationship between them when they are moving in a uniform field or uniform plane wave okay so first thing is first the definition of uniform plane wave Uniform plane wave is defined as in these four points that is first point is electric uh, field and magnetic electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity are uniform in nature with respect to uniform plane wave second point is that E and H are perpendicular to each other third point is that E and H are on play are, are in one single plane okay both the electric field and magnetic field are induced in a single plane okay in that single plane its condition is that it needs to be uniform in nature okay and this E and H are perpendicular to the direction of propagation okay in this figure you can see these are the directions of propagations here which uh, this uh, indicating arrow these are the directions of propagations okay so now let's see the, the what is this concept of uniform plane wave so let E be in y direction and H be in z direction okay that is electric field and magnetic field let it be in y and z direction respectively okay and let X be in the direction of propagation okay so this is the direction of propagation here X so E is equal to in generally EX AX plus EY AY plus EZ AZ same goes for H okay so now a uniform plane wave that is UPW in free space for free space we have some conditions that is mu is equal to mu naught epsilon is equal to epsilon naught and uh, sigma equal to 0 as same goes with JC is equal to sigma times C is equal to 0 okay the conduction current density conductivity and uh, permittivity would be in free space that is mu naught and epsilon naught so now let's consider the Maxwell's equation that is del cross E is equal to minus dou B by dou T. So this relation which we have got from Faraday's law, consider that equation. And here in this case B is equal to mu times H, but uh, in free space mu equal to mu naught. So that's why minus mu naught dou H by dou T since B is equal to mu naught H. Okay. So now this is this del cross E substitute it, take the determinant that is A. A x A y A z dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z zero e y zero okay since uh, we are considering uh, UPW with e in y direction and h in z direction okay since we have considered this uh, e in y direction here so that's why since we have a del cross e so that's why the y component would only be activated the rest of the two components would be zero so that's why these two are zero that's equal to mu naught dou by dou t of h z okay because I have taken h in z direction right so that's why this h should be replaced by hz into a z vector these two components would be neglected only this component would be left out okay and x is the direction of propagation so that's why ex equal to ez equal to 0 hx equal to hy equal to 0 okay because we have taken uh, e in y direction and h in z direction so that's why the rest of the two components are equal to 0 okay so now after taking its determinant, so this is the expression which you are getting that is dou by dou x of ey into az vector is equal to minus mu naught dou by dou t of hz into az vector, az, az vector you can cancel it out from both sides. So the remaining term is dou by dou x of ey is equal to minus mu naught dou by dou t of hz. Okay. So whatever this equation you've got, you name it as equation 1. So this is the plane wave equation which we've obtained when we take the electric field and magnetic field in a direction along with the direction of propagation in a particular direction that is y in this case the electric field is in y direction and magnetic field is in 
z direction so that's why if we see the relationship between them using the maxwell's equation for uniform plane wave in free space so this is the equation which we obtain okay so that's why you can name it as equation 1 because this is further many more steps are there for this but for in case of only for uniform plane wave propagation okay if they ask this much is enough to write from here till here this one full page in, is enough okay if they ask for uh, uh, 10 marks or something still more further derivation is there so that's why i have named it as equation 1 so now next what would be uh, what would be happening let's see that now